over the weekend, it was announced that British tourists can now visit Spain without having to go to quarantine for 14 days on arrival. Well, it's given fresh hope to holidaymakers that they will be able to get away this summer. And travel expert Simon Calder says there's plenty of cheap deals to be had. Hiya, Simon. So, update us. Where are we now? We've been talking about this for, for a while. We've been picking our way through, trying to understand what we can and can't do. What's the story? Well, we still can't do very much, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, there is good news. The Spanish Foreign Affairs Ministry uh, yesterday uh, um, completely unlocked the country. After three months of a state of alarm, we can go back in without needing to self-isolate for two weeks. Um, and indeed, the first flights took off from Leeds, Bradford and from East Midlands to Alicante yesterday. The trouble is... Anybody on those flights or any other flight to anywhere else abroad is going against travel advice from the Foreign Office, which says we advise against all but essential travel anywhere. Um, and furthermore, their insurance will not be valid because of that. And when they come back anywhere apart from Ireland, they will need to self-isolate at home for two weeks. The travel industry is desperate for those uh, rules to be relaxed because at the moment they can all say we've got these fantastic holidays lined up for you, but you're going to kind of have to take a chance that the uh, trip is going to go ahead and that you'll be able to travel um, without uh, incurring quarantine when you come back or indeed without uh, having your travel insurance invalidated. We heard about um, air bridges that have been mentioned. So are, are they still being discussed? Well, they are. This extraordinary saga, which began at the beginning of May when the government uh, let it be known they were going to introduce quarantine. Um, it duly came into effect two weeks ago yesterday. So the first victims of that will finally be able to emerge at midnight today. Um, they they uh, have been just sort of saying we're going to have air bridges and there's various lists of countries floating around. These are basically reciprocal no quarantine agreements with a whole range of population countries. So I'm pretty sure that you're going to find that Portugal, Spain, France, Italy and Greece are in the first bundle. But who knows about Croatia and Malta and Cyprus and Turkey and the North African countries? We're simply going on rumours. And honestly, I found out more from government ministers on ITV this morning than I have from any other source about what's likely to happen to our holidays uh, this summer. We just don't know. And of course, at the moment, nobody can um, get to an airport without breaking down the uh, breaking the lockdown rules if they're travelling for fun rather than an essential purpose. Do you think people should hedge their bets then and just book a holiday for <laughs> July or August? Or is that just well, really look, risky? Uh, look, you're, you're taking a gamble. If you book a proper package holiday with a company such as TUI or Jet2 or Balkan Holidays, um, then if you're in the happy position of knowing that either you will get the uh, uh, the trip or you will get your money back. If you're putting something together yourself, it's a lot riskier, although there are some astonishingly good prices out there. But for instance, if you book with uh, Ryanair or Wizz Air to go to Spain and then you can't go because of the Foreign Office rules or because you don't fancy two weeks in self-isolation when you come back, then the airline's basically going to say, look, the flight's going. The fact that you don't want to be on it is not our problem. But the other thing that's at work, Davina, is that I'm pretty sure as soon as details of the so-called air bridges emerges as soon as the Foreign Office relaxes its advice. And I write to them every single week saying, the reasons you gave for introducing this no longer apply. Mm. Please, will you change it? As soon as they do, there is going to be the most almighty surge of demand and prices will, I think, go through the roof. So it's a bit of a gamble at this stage, but there are some amazing deals out there. Well, you've got some deals for us now, and this is a bit strange, isn't it? Sort of giving deals <laughs> in the hope that you'll be able to take <laughs> yes. them um, and in the hope that your money will be protected and that you'll be OK and in the hope that your travel insurance will be valid. But what deals have you got for us? Well, uh, yeah, you, first of all, if you want to uh, get a bit more reassurance, then I would urge you to talk to a human travel agent because they are professionals and they will be able to guide you through all this. But these are deals that I've been researching. They've all 
absolutely valid prices as of this morning. Starting off in beautiful Mallorca, Santa Ponza, um, going out on the 15th of July from Liverpool, um, staying in self-catering apartments, family of four per person, £153 wow. each for a holiday in July. Sounds almost too good to be true. Yeah. And that's partly because the flights are on Ryanair, so you get um, a, a, a baggage allowance, which is about the size of a packet of crisps. <laughs> so you have to pay extra for that. It doesn't include transfers, doesn't include meals or whatever. But um, that's an extraordinary uh, starting price. That's through on the beach. Um, if you want a more kind of ordinary package holiday with all the stuff included, then uh, what about 16th of July going to sunny beach in Bulgaria with Balkan holidays? Um, £283 going from Doncaster, Sheffield. And for that, you do get your uh, your baggage included and the transfers it is a proper deal. Um, the Algarve, absolutely lovely. They've been saying how much they want British holidaymakers back. I'm not surprised because we make up about 50% of their um, foreign travel market in the summer. Um, but uh, you can get there from Newquay, would you believe, in Cornwall, um, flying to uh, Faro, staying in Studio 17 in Portimao, just £182. That's with Travel Republic. But again, it's with um, Ryanair. So expect to pay uh, almost the same again in baggage charge. Now, Valencia in Spain, one of my absolute favourite cities. It's a beautiful place with a beach wow. attached. Not many people go there. And with EasyJet holidays, uh, travelling out on the 2nd of August, so absolute peak uh, holiday time from Gatwick, um, that's going to cost you £238. That includes your uh, luggage. It doesn't include transfers. But I tell you what, it's really um, cheap and easy to get uh, into Valencia from the airport. Just, um, and... Simon, just give us one more. Have you got one more for us? OK, I'm going to just going to go for Malta because I'm pretty confident we'll be able to go back in 26th of August flying from Gatwick British Airways holidays absolutely terrific um, staying at the Bayview Hotel £239 per person and that includes your breakfast every day and checked baggage one thing it doesn't include is transfers but it's 20 euros in a cab to uh, a beautiful uh, hotel just on the outskirts of lovely Valletta Lovely. Thank you, Simon. Thank well, you, fingers Simon. crossed it all comes <clears throat> together and there's some sort of plan that we can understand. Uh, thank <laughs> you. We'll see. We'll see.